I want to introduce on this broadcast Dr. Ramesh Chaladurai, who's part of the European Space Agency, the ESA. He's a ground services manager there. So, Dr. Chaladurai, a pleasure having you with us here on India Today. Uh, considering that ESA has already accomplished uh, a solar mission, you have a solar orbiter in place, sir. Can you explain to us how hard really is a sun mission, a solar mission? Sure. Um, basically, science is all about understanding understanding the basic dynamics of how things work, how things interact. So the, if we ask the question, how much do we know about the sun? Very little. So we have started the journey uh, in understanding the uh, dynamics of sun uh, since uh, there has been a couple of missions, Ulysses, uh, Solo, uh, Solo, Solar Orbiter, SOHO, uh, even cluster, but do we know enough? No, not yet. Mm. So any mission which is going to study the sun and the way how it is uh, behaving would be really beneficial for the scientific community. We might yeah. have some new understandings about the sun and there is a lot to learn about the way how sun acts and behaves. But I wonder, uh, uh, Dr. Chalitura, you know, one point that's really struck, uh, stuck out for all of our viewers uh, is the fact that this satellite is going to take four months to reach the point, which is uh, the Lagrange uh, imaginary point where it's going to be doing that halo orbit. 1.5 million kilometers. Is that the hardest part, the distance to cover over four months? Uh, in terms of journey, uh, and the distance, yes, it is a long distance. But on the other hand, there are many other factors which also play a major role. Uh, for example, positioning uh, the spacecraft in its final M1 orbit, it's one of uh, the hardest part as well. We call it as station keeping maneuvers, which will have to be done uh, regularly to, in order to keep the spacecraft in its position. So um, looking from uh, fr looking at the whole thing as uh, someone who is in the spacecraft operations, I would say there are there are many other challenges as well. And uh, traveling uh, to a farther distance like mm -hmm. L1, yes, it is also one of the important challenges which we will have to face. You know, from what you're telling us, clearly this is a difficult mission. And the fact that ISRO is pulling this off is amazing. It's an amazing feat because, again, we join a very elite space league. Uh, from the details that we have right now, uh, Dr. Chaladure, of the many payloads on board Aditya L1 to, you know, track uh, the magnetic field, to track the solar particles, to track solar flares, and how it affects Earth's temperature. What to you really, what excites you the most about Aditya L1 and its payloads? It is just adding value to the scientific community. So uh, to answer your question, we will have to look into the immediate needs of the scientific um, community within India, basically because uh, ISRO is sending the mission uh, to meet the needs of the scientific community within India, which would also be beneficial for the worldwide scientific community. So it all, the requirements come from those users who are going to use uh, the data from the spacecraft. So um, which uh, data will be valuable? It would be hard to say now. What will uh, Aditya find out once it is in an orbit? We do not know yet. Uh, it is a long way to go. We still have some more months to wait for. But based on the valuable data it brings, the scientific community sure. will have to make this final statement uh, on this declaration. Okay, and my, and my final question to you, Dr. Chaladure, is uh, something our viewers have been asking a lot. Why is it that ISRO has zeroed in on the sun after the moon? Why is it crucial to kind of research and study the sun in this manner? Why is it that ESA or NASA also have invested in these kind of satellites? It is important. Uh, when we look at the scope of the space activities, which has been carried out in the past by ISRO, uh, of course, all the space uh, missions will be of value to the Indian community. Now, now that we have landed on uh, the surface of the moon, 
and the next steps would be one can imagine that it would be sending uh, humans or uh, the talking about the gaganyan mission uh, there will be a huge impact on the humans one day if you plan to go to the moon or even send astronauts uh, through the gaganyan mission because the effects of radiation and the space weather can have a direct impact on these missions either be it a uh, future lunar program or be it a gaganya so it is essential that isro has a post out there in space to be able to capture what is going on uh, in terms of the space weather and convert that data for uh, using it for the other missions so that is point number 1 and you can also add by saying that it is just having uh, it is just like having a post out there wherein we capture the data before it reaches sure. the earth which we call as prediction so the impact of uh, solar flares the corona mass ejections it would be much much beneficial for the indian infrastructure on ground to be able to prepare themselves in case one day okay. there is a serious consequence coming naturally from the sun very very interesting uh, details that you have given us uh, dr chaudhary thank you very much for joining us here on ajay today and hopefully we'll reconnect with you once the launch is successful india's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv india's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv